Hello, my lovely family and friends. I warmly welcome you back to this edition of Our Positive Word. It's been a short while, but I'm grateful to return. God be praised and thank you for joining me again. The subject for this presentation today is all or nothing. All or nothing, I'm referring to how we surrender what we give to God as children of God. It's the fashion nowadays for people to leave certain aspects of their lives outside of God's will. They just do what they want, leave how they prefer, say and engage in all sorts of things. And then they have this sacred area that they give to God. But I'm stopping by to remind us today that it is all or nothing. You're either with for God or you are not. We do not have with the, the we do not get to pick and choose what we give to God, what we leave out. It's everything. He's interested in all areas of our lives and we have to do this, give it all to him. We're told in Matthew chapter 23 from verse 37, Matthew chapter 22, pardon me, from verse 37 to 39. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. It's with all. That's the emphasis here. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, and with all your mind. The active being what we are. We are supposed to invest and give all to God. Hand everything to him in this love that we have for him. We leave nothing out. We cannot love God on a Monday, on Sunday, the days we have worship, we have fellowship, we go to church or whatever gathering where we tend to worship. And then those times when we're not gathering, we stop loving God. No, this love has to continue and it has to be all. What percentage do you hold back or keep for yourself? None. We can't. We mustn't. It is all or nothing. We must surrender all to God. Hand everything completely over to him. It is only when we can do this that we will discover and attain God's utmost for us. We lose ourselves in search of who God is. We can never discover God completely. In fact, I don't think there's anyone who's discovered 10% of God. But we keep yearning and walking to find him. So we lose ourselves in this search of God and how to walk in his will for us. That is the way of the cross, my friend. Surrendering all. It is to love him so much that we cannot live or survive without him. It is like trying to breathe, to live without breathing. Well, I don't know who's been successful doing that. We get to the point where God becomes the air we're taking and the very essence of our being. That's loving him all. When you hold back any portion of your life, you invariably impact those little areas that you release to him and present to him. You limit yourself. Surrender all. We are to give all. Hence, we're told in Luke chapter 9, verse 23, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. This is the word of God to us today, to give all or nothing. In today's world, everything goes. You're allowed to leave this area and do to live for yourself and give God this portion, this aspect. No, the word of God says deny yourself, love him with all. All means all. We can't leave no part, no portion for anybody, for the world, to please no organization, group or faction. It has to be all. I just hope that God will give us the grace to continue to surrender daily, to ask him to show us those areas of our lives that we have held back and help us to surrender freely, to enter into his utmost, utmost for us. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. God bless you as you surrender your all.